What? Three, what a guy. Two, um, one, hey, Roy is OD in this game. Uh, yeah, that's that is true. But I guess he. Now, actually, now that I think about it, I know in the past Light has hasn't ver felt very comfortable fighting Mega Man, and Mega Man did get better as a character. I feel like he's gonna still need a little bit of time to cook his uh, his fox against the character in specifics. Why the Roy though? I'm actually fairly curious. Um, it just seems like Fox is a character that can get juggled by Mega Man. Also off stage, he kind—I mean, I don't even—I mean, I, I can't really say. <laughs> I feel like they're—they're they're kind of similar characters. It's that Roy is a powerhouse, and he does have a sword, and he went out there. He is confident with that sword. I guess that's all you need at the end of the day. And Roy could also go out deeper than Fox can, so that's definitely an advantage he could use. You know, despite everyone saying how great this character uh, is in the transition from Smash 4 to Ultimate, I feel like I haven't seen any Roy's. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I smoked. Wow. That was, that was random. But um, good stuff by King Arc. Okay, and he's been getting a lot of mileage out of this Nair. Just keeping King Arc at the ledge with this Nair. Right Air has always been really good for that, though. It's a solid combo tool. It's his corner carry, and it puts on a good bit of damage. Look at the percentages that's on board. Ooh. And and also, if in case you didn't know, the tipper range, uh, the base, I guess the base tipper range of Roy's has gotten a little bit bigger. So it's a lot easier to get these tipper hits that Roy's wanted in Smash Four. Yeah, he's, like. The hilt hitbox is not at his like knuckles anymore. Yeah. It's like a little bit further on the sword, making it feel like he's actually fighting with the sword. <laughs> yeah. And not fighting with a wet noodle. Basically. Although this matchup in particular is just mystifying me because on paper, Mega Man shouldn't have any issue with this. Eesh. From like heavily disjointed hitboxes that he's got through lemons and through the as you can see, hard knuckle through how well he can make use of Metal Blade for keeping Roy at a distance and constantly interrupting his combos. Yeah. Thing about it is Mega Man does not have a lot of landing options. So when you put Mega Man in the air, put him off stage, you can't really do a lot of... He doesn't have a lot to do while landing or coming back to stage. And Roy is a character that can put a lot of pressure on you to land and put a lot of pressure on you to get out of disadvantage. So that's what kind of... That's what Light's exploiting in, in the situation. And oh, wow. If King Ark waited a little bit more just to pull the trigger on that, probably that would have ended it. Yeah, probably got a forward smash. Oh, you died. Oh, you definitely died. And that's another shortcoming. Is he has Roy's shortcoming is uh, the recovery options aren't the greatest. Because um, if he went low in that situation, he definitely would have died. So his option to go high also got him killed. So um, yeah, so even tough stuff. I mean, good stuff by King Ark because he ran that back. Because he did. In, in the beginning of the game, Light got off to a very quick start. We're seeing the pick at the Pokemon Stadium too, and I'm curious to see if this Roy's gonna stay on the board any longer. It, it was a good pick. Like, it made a believer out of me. But I, I feel like everything that Light accomplished with Roy, he would have been able to do the same with his Fox. Yes, I agree. Um, and he doesn't care. So wow, he's wavering on it. All right. Prove me wrong, Light. Let's he, see what this Roy can do. He doesn't care. So, um, like, I don't think it's a bad pick by any stretch of imagination. But, um,. I mean, let's. I mean, let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, going to PS2. Mm. And it is worth noting for those at home, both of these players do make it out of pools. It's just a matter of making it out on the winner's side or loser's side. But seeing what we're doing here in game two, this is another odd pick. I feel like this. This may be comfort because even though Roy is able to traverse Pokemon Stadium really well. Uh, we touched on this earlier with King Arc versus Keaton, that Mega Man is able to cover space very well, laterally speaking. The yeah. stage is meant more for like the wide-ended battle than a uh, vertical one. Yeah, the thing thing about the PS2 platforms that um, probably can benefit... Oh, yeah, you died. I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know how King Art died. I thought I think King Art got shook by the fact that he had Roy charging at him at mock speed. But <laughs> Cuz I I already knew Roy was going to die. Cuz his his um horizontal momentum is it would carry him all the way to the bottom. So <laughs> like that's Harris is actually insane. Okay. He's actually wild. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, oh, and oh, good tech roll read with the with the metal blade. And a lot of this matches has been played at the ledge and King Art getting off the ledge. 
Like, Mega Man doesn't have any shortage of turning back to the stage. He has a lot of options for bringing the battle really doesn't have high a jump. Yeah, he doesn't have a jump. He's out of jumps. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, he couldn't do anything about it. Um, he caught his jump with the back air and just threw him off stage, and you know, Roy doesn't have a lot of options after that. Yeah. And King Ark using, doing the same thing by recovering high. Look at the shield pressure that Mega Man's able to put out. This character's sick. Yeah, man. The, like the metal, the, with the Metal Blade buff and the buff to some of his aerials, like, oh man. I want. I really want to see Mega Man pull off the infinite. I want. I want to see what would happen. It's 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 really different now. Like from how it used to be, like with the Metal Blade reps, because now it involves using attack canceling with the lemons, and it's it's so weird. It's yeah. so weird. But like. There has been a lot of success uh, for Mega Man's that we've been seeing around lately. From Kamehameha holding it down to Japan. I know he just recently top um, I believe it was the same event that Sakurai had won that we brought up earlier with Wolf. Um, and then also Smasher 1001 holding it down in the Midwest. There's always been a really strong Mega Man, but especially so now. He's been consistently top three in a lot of their events. Yeah. Um, but right now, um, King Ark with the considerable lead. Uh, but Roy is a character that can make you explode. And King Ark has been doing a great job recovering with these air dodges, essentially making it like another half a jump. Yeah, the directional air dodge change has been such a boon to Mega Man. I remember talking about this in the pre-release of the game, where I felt like the changes to how characters act in the air are so good for Mega Man, because a lot of his tools cover directional air dodge really well, and then he himself can make such good use of it, and King Ark's putting that to excellent use of his uh, set alone. Yeah, and, that, and like the forward air buff too, Oh, yeah. That, that, that was like the, the biggest buff they could have given him. I'm so. Oh, don't die now. <laughs> hmm. A little bit more percentage. No one could. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised that he went for the up air, not like a forward air or a back air. That's what I was expecting. And back air at a shield, with that being said, jab is not safe on shield. And just like that, King Ark's going to take a 2 0 over light. And now, a player that's been heralded as one of the best in the world right now is going to be occupying the loser's bracket. So, have fun, everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, good stuff by King Ark. Uh, Very well plays for him. I'm personally uh, excited to see what happens with Mega Man later on. Uh, I'm biased as hell for the character. You know that. I 